welcome welcome i will give you guys a couple minutes to come in and i do apologize that we're not starting on time i was having some technical difficulties let's see Give it a few more moments. Let's see, we have one person in here. Oh, two, three. Please say hey. Let me know in the comments that you're here. Say hi. Make sure you like the video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, but let me know who's here. It doesn't show me like who's here, it just says three people. So definitely let me know in the comments who's here oh thank you girl thank you jackie got gasson i hope i'm saying that right thank you hey shaman i hope i'm saying y'all name right but hey okay cool we got two people in here three okay Sorry, you guys. So sorry that I'm starting late. I do apologize for that. I meant to start at 530, but of course, there was things going on, but I'm here now. Um, I'm at an overnight right now. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. I had three flights. Well, let me just run it all the way back. So today was actually supposed to be... Um, I had a four day trip scheduled as part of being a line holder. I had a four day, four day trip scheduled on my trip. However, and I was supposed to start on, what is today? Friday. It was supposed to start on Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. It was supposed to start on Tuesday. Um, but I posted my trip on open time and I posted the whole trip and then someone actually messaged me like, monday night and they were saying hey i'd be happy to take the first two days for you and they didn't even want any money they were like i want the hours and i like the trip so i'll take the first two days and they weren't legal to do the last two days hey isaiah so they weren't legal to do the last two days of my four day but listen i'm not complaining i went ahead and gave them the first two days of my four day so now i showed up for the last two days thursday and friday and today i had to get up and report to work by 6 a.m and i had three legs but we were done by two so that's not bad we didn't have any delays so that was good so now i'm in the hotel and i'm trying to stay up and not take any naps today because tomorrow i have to report to work at 5 20 a.m so i'm gonna go to bed around mm, nine at the latest nine like i need to be closing my eyes in the bed at nine so i can be well rested and ready to um go to work and work tomorrow because i have three legs and it's gonna be a long day we don't get off until 2 30 and that's if I have no delays. So five to two is a long day. And that I have to report by 520, like be at the airport at 520. So actually I need to be up at like 4 30, 4 o'clock to get ready for work. So that is part of the life of being a flight attendant, getting up super, super early. But I do like getting up early because that means my day is gonna end early and I have the rest of my day free. So I'm excited for that. I won't be excited when I, woke, when I wake up, but by the time I mentally wake up, which will be like 10, 
11.30, I will have one more flight left and then I'll be done. So I'm excited for that. But what I did want to talk to you guys about was life as a line holder. Like it is so much better. It's so much better. Like there's so many things that I didn't know that we had access to do when we have a trip. So um, how can I explain this the best way possible? So like if you are on reserve, we only have two options basically when crew support calls you and they give you a trip it's either a you do it or b you call out those are really your only two options when you're a line holder you have multiple options so first you already know that you're going to work this trip ahead of time so that's one um but your options you can drop the trip and post it in open time so that's like for if you have reserves available like if there's enough staffing then it will be oh let me see isaiah says i just want to tell you i love your videos thank you okay wait let me read it down here and i go to training on wednesday okay and i actually got mainline for my first time ever your videos actually help me get the job yay oh my god congratulations Ooh, that's gonna be nice make sure you tell me how mainline is going how training is going life as a mainline flight attendant because that's gonna be fun i think it's better to do mainline straight out the gate because you have nothing to compare it to and you'll just like it's, I feel like it's a better experience because I know that I'm not doing a lot of work compared to mainline, then I'm not in no rush to leave. But I think that'd be a great experience. Actually, I watch other YouTubers just to see like how's their experience and you know, just how's their experience as a flight attendant mainline and regional. And there have been a lot of new mainline flight attendants, and they're saying that they're able to pick up trips that are overseas. So that's pretty cool. Like I've seen a few people saying they've been to London and Amsterdam, and they have just been hired within, I don't know, like two to three months. So that's amazing. I think things are changing to where it, it's a possibility to travel to cool places and for a longer time periods. So yes that's so nice congratulations um that's awesome how long is your training i'm curious is it like two months six weeks how long um what else in the meantime while you're responding um what was i talking about oh six weeks in dallas okay six weeks that's gonna go by fast we're gonna go by super fast make sure you are oh wednesday is next week okay well have fun right now enjoy your time because when you go to training it is time to be locked in okay so get your last weekend out have fun get yourself together relax all that good stuff because when you go to training it's time to focus Speaking of training, really quickly, and then I'll go back to my four-day, but since we're on the topic, I did want to tell you guys that for training, because I've had a lot of people, um, when I have my consultations with a few of you guys, you guys have asked me about basically how much do you need to save for training, um, life after training, so after you graduate, like, okay, you guys are aware that we don't get paid that much, and it's really depending on your airline, so... With regional, it, you're not really going to get paid enough to take care of any bills at home unless you, you know, live with your parents or something, our roommates are straight out of college, if it's something like that. But um, you don't get paid that much after tra in training, and then it's not until after you finish training. Like, I think I got my check. We got two checks, but it was like one was it the last week. 
and then another one was like two weeks after that but i wanted to tell you guys that oh also if you're new let me know um that you're here say hey in the comments and be sure to like the video for me but anyways i want to let you guys know that you do want to have a savings um you do want to just have a little wiggle room just in case you have to commute and you need to stay at a hotel or a crash pad for a month or two before you get transferred to the base that you want to be at um what else if you can save and have you know if like say if you're staying in a apartment at least have the rent already covered for the month of training and the month after training so you're not stressed about finances if you have fur babies look into giving a friend letting a friend take care of the fur baby there's you know kitty camps dog camps um definitely look into that and there's also like when i took pepper my cat to a kitty camp they had like a bundle deal because it was like over 30 days it was like a discount because he was going to be there so long so definitely look into that um what else i was going to say if you don't have the funds to pay up rent ahead of time or have that taken care of you could also like rent out the room that's an idea like you know do an airbnb type of thing if you're comfortable with that i know that's like a stretch but that's something you could do or if the lease is already about to end you could also just move out put all your stuff in storage and typically there's storages that have like the first month free or like you can do a bundle for three months but you're only paying for two months because the first month is free or it's like the first six weeks are free so definitely look into that those are just some ideas as far as like keeping the cost low so you can focus on training um let me know if you're new like the video and let me know in the comments that you're here say hey drop an emoji something um you know when you do lives it's like talking to yourself so y'all give me some conversation in the chat please but um yeah, training, you definitely want to take care of everything at home so that when you come to training, you can really just focus on training. Hey, Terrell. I hope I'm saying that right. Hey, Terrell. Anyone else in here? Arla. Hey, I love your channel. Thank you. I like that name. Arla. That's cute. Hmm. Okay, anyone else? I see there's seven people, but I don't see seven A's. So let me know. Um, okay, what else was I going to say? Oh, let's get back on being a line holder. So I have two days left of my four-day trip. There are a couple options when you have a trip that you don't really desire to have as a line holder. So one, you can drop them and you can drop it in open time. When you drop it in open time, there has to be reserves available for each day that you're trying to drop. Like for this week, I was trying to drop the trip from Monday to, or Tuesday to Thursday. However, there wasn't enough reserves covered for each day. Um, so I wasn't able to drop it. However, I was able to post it on um, crew. You can post it on like a crew poster section where crew members can pick it up and that's how i got a crew member to pick up a part of my trip other aside from the whole trip four day they picked up to two days so that's an option which i can't complain because if you want to pick up half the trip that means i only have to do half the work beggars cannot be choosers so i'm thankful that that person picked up half of the trip um oh let me read the comments shaman said I, have, I had my interview today. Oh, snap. Well, how do you feel like it went? 
is this like uh, the face to face, the first one? Because I know some companies have like rounds of interviews, but was this the first one? Tell us how it went or what did they ask? Because that's a big thing y'all ask. Y'all always ask me like, what are the interview questions? But it was so long ago that I don't really remember all of them. But let us, give us a question or two, Shimon. What did they ask you? And also good luck. Um, but back to what I was saying. So I forgot what I was saying. Oh, this was the virtual interview. Okay, cool. Oh, that's nice. Let us know some questions. Give us one or two. Help us out. What was I going to tell you guys? I lost my train of thought. Can someone remind me what I was talking about? Please. Hmm. Okay, you can drop the trip. You put on crew posted. Um... Oh, this is another thing you can do. You can switch trips with someone else. And um, if they have the same exact days, so you can switch your whole schedule with someone else. Or you could, like, let's say I really had to do something on Tuesday and Wednesday. I could potentially drop the trip, like, not drop. I could call out and use like a personal emergency. And then I can come back to the trip at any time that I want. So if I need a Tuesday off, but I was scheduled to work, I can call out and then I can call crew support and say, hey, I'm ready to be, I'm ready to go back to work for the trip that I was scheduled for and pick up where I left off starting Wednesday. The only thing is you have to be, um, you have to be like at the base, like at the domicile, wherever that you're supposed, you're, how can I explain this? You have to be, hey, you have to be, um, ready to report to work. That's the best way I can explain. Ready to report to work. So it's better to be like, for me, based in Dallas, it's better for me to be in Dallas. But let's say that I had a trip going to New Orleans, which I never do. But if I did, then, and I wanted to pick up in New Orleans, I would have to be in New Orleans to pick it back up from there. And I would have to figure that out on my own. They're not going to fly me out there. So I would have to like find a standby trip, get there, and then call crew support and say, hey, can you put me back on the trip that I originally had as a line holder. So that's pretty cool. And I have done that before. And you have to do it. You have to let them know at least 45 minutes before the trip starts. So that's good. Let me read some of these comments. I see we have some more. I have my computer here. So that's why I'm looking down because I didn't want to keep touching the screen and then it's moving around. I didn't want to do all that. Um, okay, Arlet says, I'm trying again for training, keeping my head high. Okay. Yes, keep your head up. There's so many different airlines to apply to. Like, plenty of opportunity. Um, Shaman said, definitely needed to know the star method which he forewarned me about at the beginning hmm star method i think that's like the situation i don't even remember Taz, what is the star method i do remember them starting off when i had a interview they were like use the star method which i don't really understand why it's that important but it's important when you're having an interview with them because it's part of following instructions. So follow instructions. If they say star method, do the star method. Um, Chariot Gaming. Hey, what's up? He says, I'm excited to reapply to some of these airlines again. Yes, definitely do that. I'm getting it this time. Okay. 
speaking into their existence yes i was in dallas for in august for aa face to face how was that let us know any if you remember any questions that you had in your face to face because we were talking about questions earlier so please let us know i'm going to study for that star method harder mm -hmm. Um, Terrell says, can you give us any tips for getting through IOE? Let's see. IOE, I mean, for me personally, IOE was a very calm experience. Um, my instructors, I had two because when it was time for me to actually do my, like demonstrate what I learned, those flights got canceled because of weather. So I had to start all over again with a whole new person. However, I feel like the best tips I can give is definitely, you know, going with an open mind. I know a lot of people have heard horror stories, um, more horror stories than good experiences, but don't go in with your guard up. Like, be calm, okay? Every, it's a new day, it's a new experience, it's your experience, so definitely go in calm, don't don't go in there nervous um ask questions be sure to pay attention ask your instructor to go slow because they're doing they're just showing you how to do your job and it's routine for them so if you feel like they're going too fast or you miss something or you have questions ask them hey let them know if you're feeling nervous hey i'm nervous hey i'm you know, I'm a visual learner. I'll, however, know your learning style. That's important too. Um, but if you're a visual, let them know, hey, do you mind doing these things in slow motion, like a little bit in a slower pace so I can just really grasp everything that you're doing so I'm able to accurately demonstrate it to you. And I'm sure they'll do that. There's also videos online to look at and see if you're a visual learner, because I'm a visual learner, so if you are, definitely look at those videos online through your company website. That's, that's kind of all the tips that I have that I can think of, but what were you more leaning to or what else? Let's see, I'm gonna read some of the comments. Isaiah said, as a tip for training, also be yourself and be happy. Like I told little jokes and all in my interview, even if you are having a bad day, fake like you are very happy. Yes. That's good. Definitely bring your personality. People want to see personality. Like, don't be super uptight and boring or just super nervous. Like, just be calm. Be calm, be chill. Yeah, definitely be yourself. I remember in my interview, or it was like a group interview. I don't know if they're doing that anymore. But I was the only person who was wearing like this burnt orange cardigan. Basically, I was the only person who was wearing something different besides like blue and white. Because I just thought it was normal, but I guess everybody else was watching YouTube and seeing it. they should be wearing black, white, or blue. And I was the only person wearing this orange. It was still business casual, but it was just a business casual, like, fall fit. And I'm like, why is everybody looking like that? <laughs> but just be yourself. Be yourself. If you like to wear vibrant colors and you can find a professional outfit that's vibrant wear that stand out i didn't even do that intentionally i thought everyone was going to wear different colors but i feel like that definitely helped let's see what else um isaiah said in my face to face they ask questions like situations where it happened and do you remember where your interviewer was at AA. Oh, you're talking to him. Okay.
There was a group activity. A group activity? See, I didn't, there wasn't, I don't know about a group activity. What happened? What was the activity? I don't really watch YouTube videos about training, flight attendant training and the interview process. I haven't, sorry, excuse me. I personally have never even heard about a group activity, but I think it's good that they're incorporating something where you're working with others because we're on the plane, you will have to work with other people in a very small aspect, but it's more so when you have an, um, when you have an unruly passenger, which I don't typically have those, or it doesn't start with me, but if you have an unruly passenger, like back when we had masks, I've had like a passenger who didn't want to put on their mask or they were like, acting like they were drinking water every time you walk by so they don't have to wear their mask. And at that point, if I've already asked them, hey, I need you to put your mask back on, like put your mask on, they're like, oh, I'm drinking water. And then I come by two or three times, they keep drinking water. Then that's when I will tell the other flight attendant, okay, we need to work together and I need you to tell them that they need to put their mask on. If they don't put it on, then I need you. Basically, we're taking turns being the bad guy. So it's like, tell the other flight attendant, y'all have to work together and just minimize any type of argument. Like, it's more so like we both spoke to you now. So if you get banned from this airline, you know why. Because we already told you, we already gave you a warning, but now we're gonna go ahead and write down your information. So it's more so about being on the same accord and being able to work with each other. So whatever the group activity is, I think that's just like, a, what can I say? It's more of like a, um, a teaser for what life is gonna be like when you actually have to go to work and work with other flight attendants. But definitely go in with a good mindset. Also, let us know, Isaiah and, um, is it freezing? I hope it's not freezing. Oh. Let us know if you guys remember any more questions that we can like talk about. Also, I forgot what the star method is. Let me know in the comments what's the star method. Like what is the acronym meaning? The A interview was really long. I bet. Yeah, those interviews are, there are some lengthy interviews, I will say that. What was I going to say? So, for my four-day trip that I had, guys, I was able to drop the first two days. So, I dropped the first two days, but I looked on open time, and there was actually a trip for a stand-up. And a stand-up, which I explained in another live video, so check that out. But I picked up the stand-up because you get paid more for doing less and anytime I can get paid more for doing less sign me up so I picked up the stand up it didn't start until and I have to report to work till like 10 p.m and I believe we went to we went to Alabama then we come back in the morning and I'm done by 7 30 in the morning so I did that, however, when I came into work for that overnight, for that stand-up, the flight was delayed. I go to the gate agent and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Like, why is the flight delayed? She said that we were at gate E34. Our plane was at gate E27. And they're waiting on someone to bring it over to E34. 
and we waited for like 40 minutes. I don't know why we couldn't just, passengers and crew included, just all move, walk over to gate E27. But, you know, that's above my pay grade. So I was just like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna sit here and look stupid with everybody else. <laughs> Cause I don't know why we didn't just all move. Like we literally just sat there for 40 minutes, low key an hour. But then we finally boarded, got everywhere, got everyone to the destination. Oh, I was working with another flight attendant and she has been with the company for 25 years, y'all, 25 years. That's a long time. Like when you start saying you've been with the company since 1990, like mm -mm, that's a long time. Like we're out of this, this decade. <laughs> like I was like, girl, you've been here a long time. And on top of that, I don't know if this is for other companies, but with for my regional airline, when we take our photo for our badge, we only take that one photo is the photo that we have for life, okay? It doesn't matter if you gain 20 pounds, lose 20 pounds, cut your hair off, grow your hair down to your knees. It doesn't matter if you are in the company for 25 years, that is the same picture. And I don't know why it's like that, why they don't change the picture, but they don't. So of course, she did not look like her picture, like no shade, no tea. But I was like, whoa, they need to do something about that. <laughs> they really need to do something about that. Because I'm sure every time she goes to KCM, they're like, they have to like double look. But that even for people who like dye their hair red, like I had a coworker who dyed her hair blonde and but in her picture, she has black hair. And she looks like a whole different person. It's like, <laughs> girl, you need a new picture. But anyway, so the person I was working with, she was really cool. She was very sweet. Um, yeah, she was fun to work with. And she was telling me that back when she started as a flight attendant, right? She said that back in her day, they had to pay for the hotel during training. <laughs> they had to pay for the, ho the hotel while they were at training. They also had to take care of their food. So she was saying that they were staying in like rooms of four people to five to even six people to, you know, save money on the cost to go to training and I'm like, oh my God, that's, I would never be a flight attendant if those were the conditions. What do you mean? You want me to pay for my bills at home and pay to come out to training and hotels and food? No. So she said she had to do both of those and then she said they got one check at the end but you could only get that check if you graduated and it was just $600. I was like, that's crazy. And she told me that their reserve, I think she was saying they, they broke guarantee every time. It was something different. Oh, with when she, back in her day when she was on reserve, you could only get like an hour and a half call out or an hour call out versus in today's time, we get two hours to call out. So it just seemed really strict. Oh, this was the thing. She said, when you make your schedule back in her time, if you wanted a Wednesday, say you needed a Wednesday off, you would have to take every Wednesday off that whole month. Like you can't just have Wednesday off and then next week you want Thursday off. So I don't, it just sounds, it sounded very, very difficult 
whatever she was going through back in her time with all of those rules. But basically the way that she was explaining to me, everything that she was explaining to me was saying that basically we got it made today. That's what she was saying in a nutshell. That I have it made and I should not be complaining. And I was like, well girl, I'm a line holder now. So um, the complaints are at a minimum these days. So just know somebody always had it worse as a flight attendant. Anytime you feel like you're doing the most because I don't think I could do it if I had to pay for my hotel. That's not fun. But the woman that I was working with, she was saying that now she only does three stand-ups a week. And that's it. That's the life. That's easy. Three stand-ups a week. And of course, she's been here for 25 years, so she's waking, she's making way more, but doing less work. And with stand-up, you get paid more. You get paid more money for less time. Okay, like the best way I can explain it is like, I'm doing two hours of work, but I get paid for seven hours. Between five and seven hours. So that's why I like stand-ups. And that's why anytime I see a stand-up, I will be doing it. I don't care if they don't put money on it. If they do, that's nice. But they don't have to when it comes to me. I'll do a stand-up anytime. Because that's less time being in the air. And more money. So, I definitely like those. The only thing is waking up. That's the only thing about stand-ups is getting up. We have to get up at very early times. 4.30, 5. And then from... When we came, when we landed, we'll land at like 11 30, 10 30, at night. So it's a very, it's like taking a nap because that's not a full rest, it's just a nap, which is that's the point of a stand up. But it's okay, I like it. Let me know in the comments. Oh, if you're new, say hi, like the video for me. Um, the sun is going down. I've been working off the, the natural sunlight for this video. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys so far. I think I'm gonna wrap this up because today is actually the day that we can drop trips. So I'm gonna try to drop and move my trips around for November and see what I can do, make something shake try to get some stand-ups because typically the stand-ups go to flight attendants who are senior. The senior people get whatever they want, but sometimes they don't even want to do stand-ups. So whatever they drop, I try to pick up and then I try to drop these four day trips because on my schedule, y'all, it looks so crunchy that at this point, I'd rather be on reserve. I have three days, I have one, there's one week in my, uh, on my schedule for November where I work a three day and then another three day. So that's six days in a row, excuse me? Uh-uh, they know I'm gonna drop that. And then there's like two trips where I'm working five legs I've never never worked five legs before in a day and I never will so we're gonna drop that one tonight because no I'm not doing that five legs I've done four legs twice and the first time I did it it was fine the second time I did it it was very draining so I don't know about doing five legs. And every time someone tells me, people who tell me who are flight tenants who do five legs, they're always saying like, 
no, you don't want to do five legs. It's horrible. There was even this one time I was on, I was like, we were changing planes and the crew that was getting off the plane, they had just finished doing their fifth leg. When I tell you, they all looked worn out, tired, worn out. They looked like they had an attitude. They didn't even say bye. They were just like, it's been a long day. And they just walked off like everybody, pilot, first officer, flight attendant, they all looked over it. And I was like, wow. And they were like, yeah, we had five legs today. We not, we're not trying to talk to y'all. They were just really, they looked super drained. And that's when I found out we even do five legs. I was like, five legs? What? So, yeah, not excited about that. We're gonna try to drop that. That When I was on reserve, I used to say, I would never pay someone to pick up my trip. <laughs> Honey, today, how much you want? How much you want to take five legs in a day? Because I'm not doing that. Like, no, just thinking about that makes my back hurt and my neck hurt because that's a lot of, even if it's no service, because typically those flights are just 30 minutes or under an hour, the process of going up in the air, coming back down, going up, the takeoff and landing five times, no, no. That can like give you a headache, give me a headache. Let me just speak for me. But, all right guys, we gotta wrap this up. I enjoyed talking to you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this live and you know, got a little bit of information. Um, if you, those of you who did go to training, please, if you remember any questions, put it down in the comments, you know, it's a community where we can help each other. So help us out. Give us some star method situations. Um, let us know how the group activity was, uh, any tips, honestly, just so we can help each other. And also we had one person who was going to training. I forgot. Let me look back up in the comments. Who said they were going to training on Wednesday? Isaiah? Hmm. Yes, Isaiah said he was going to training. Yep, he was going to training. So in the comments, give us tea. How's training? Want to see you start? And then Shimon had the interview. So. Hopefully we shall hear good things in the comments about how that interview went. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for y'all in this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the videos coming soon. Be sure to check me out on Patreon, okay? Um, I will put the link down below so you guys can check me out on there. Also, if you would like to have, you know, a consultation, we can just talk about really anything you want in the, flight in the flight attendant realm or if you have any other things that topics that you would like to discuss, definitely reach out to me on pristinepores at gmail.com to set up a consultation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.